All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and yeah, it is kind of your fault. To every zoo who feels shame or guilt over their orientation, always remember the simple phrase. It's not my fault that dogs are hot. And you know they are right. You don't choose what you're attracted to, but you know what you do choose to. You choose to take advantage over animals who actually have very little awareness to actually what's going on due to them having the average intelligence of a three-year-old. And you know, someone actually commented on one of my videos arguing that is the reason zoophilia is actually right is because the animals consent by like getting into the position you know but uh actually if you look up this story about an orangutan named pony it was actually used as a slave by a group of people you know that come in pay do their business walk out i think you know what i'm implying after the orangutan was actually like you know found got out of there and put into better care whenever a dude walked around it would still like assume the position and this tells me that the animal regardless of circumstance regardless of situation gets into the position because they know it's what it, they are expected to do not because they want to do it but because they know they're going to be forced to do it regardless so this tells me it's a taught behavior and you know what separates humans from the general animal that despite us being mammals we are the most advanced species on this planet hence why we're on the top of the food chain and you know as humans with this level of intelligence you should know it's not right to take advantage of someone lesser than you like okay let's say someone is extremely like emotionally weak because they just lost their best friend or something right if you use that to get close to them with the intent to uh get into their bedroom as well then that would make you a manipulator right you'd be frowned upon in society no one likes a manipulator so what's the difference between manipulating someone that is emotionally vulnerable and emotionally underdeveloped it is the exact same thing. You are still a manipulator. Oh, and you know, another thing to bring up is that, you know, with this higher intelligence, you should know just not to act on impulse. Just because you want to do something doesn't mean you should do it. You want to touch fire, you know? It's pretty to look at, it's cool, and it's also hot, ironically. But you're not going to touch it because you're going to get burned. So just because you want to do something, you don't do it. Oh, and you know, they are known to block people that disagree with them. This tells me that you're really insecure about your answer, bro. Because, like, why would you block someone? if you think you're right like okay let me give you an analogy here let's say you're taking a math test you put a down as the answer and some kid you know looks at your paper and says no you're stupid that's wrong it's c if you were confident in your answer and you believe that you were in the right you wouldn't feel the need to change your answer because of their influence you would keep the same answer but if you were insecure then you'd make then you would change your answer to c now whether c is right or not is up to the teacher but you get what i'm saying here regardless of what's actually right or wrong you will stick by your answer no matter what people tell you if you are confident in it and in my brain you blocking someone because they disagree with you is you not being confident in your answer but uh yeah i'm gonna call it here get help man like seriously bro if that's your dog in your profile picture bro i feel bad just simply because like you know like i said with the whole story of uh the orangutan i believe they don't want to do it bro they don't know what they're getting into you do you're the superior being in intelligence so you should know better than to act on that kind of impulse but uh yeah that's about it. It's been Six Shot, guys. Later.